Squatty Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89. Today's Anime Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for Gakko and Babysitter Season 1, Episode 2. And I gotta tell you, last episode was freaking fantastic, so I hope Episode 2 keeps up the awesomeness that we got last week. Anyway, um, this week we are starting off with the adaptation of Chapter 2 of the manga, so without further ado, let's get to this episode. So a little bit of the commentary was kind of skipped and this is on page uh, four of uh, chapter two which was um, when Ryuchi said, is thinking, uh, this sure is a splendid room isn't, isn't it? Um, I still can't really believe it but I gotta tell you Obasan looks amazing. I loved Obasan last week and her voice actor is really growing on me because originally I was kind of like meh on it but I'm, I'm really liking Ob Obasan's uh, voice actress oh why are you screwing up Kotaro's lines because like last week I got annoyed because Kotaro was supposed to call Obasan um a uh demon lady and she, instead he's calling her shaggy and it's the same thing here where he's calling her fluffy and because her head is so her hair is so fluffy instead of calling her fluffy it's called, it's called it shaggy it's just like no writing come on writers you are better than this <laughs> oh my god picturing kotaru with obasan's hair is just so funny <laughs> uh, like it looks better than it did in the manga so this is gonna be great stuff you can't cry now you can't cry no i'm not gonna i'm not gonna let you make me cry right now because <laughs> remember at the end of last episode um we had that realization kotaro or not kotaro um ryuchi had that realization about his parents being dead and he finally cried it out because at the funeral he didn't have any emotion he was trying to be very strong for kotaro and i think at the same time kotaro was trying to be strong for ryuchi that and I don't think he really understood what was going on at the time. But it's so sweet that Obasan is thinking of everything. But I can't wait to when we get to Obasan's full backstory, especially her son's full backstory, because it is really, really, really sad. And this is perfect placement for the opening song. Nice stuff, anime. And by the way, if you missed my live reaction last week to the opening. I fucking love this opening song. It is so perfect. Okay, I got one problem here. Like, the dialogue here is just perfect. Um, but if you look on page uh, 8 of uh, chapter 2, um, uh, Usaida-san is supposed to be holding Taka, and Taka is supposed to be struggling to get out of his arms, and that's not here. So I don't understand. Where is Taka? I wanted to see that, because Taka is just so goddamn adorable, and we're not seeing this at all. That's not fair. Mm. Oh my god. You Dude, some comedy was completely skipped. Okay, so remember Taka, uh, Asura-san is supposed to be holding Taka, and Taka's like, let me go, he says in the manga, um, he's like, let me go, idiot, and, and Usaida-san says, no, it's cold. But after the Obasan isn't a uh, cheapskate, um, there's a little bit of comedy that was totally skipped from, um, Usaida-san, which was, Ryu-chan, you only say that because you don't know how low my salary is. Why did you skip that? That's messed up. And then um, he said, uh, in the anime, Usada said just, he's just a see you later. And instead he says, um, geez, it's enough to kill all my motivation. I'm counting on you to watch uh, Kirin and Midori. Uh, let's see. Oh, this part was skipped as well from, uh, I know I keep talking about page eight, but a lot of skip was, stuff was skipped from page eight, including this. Um, I think, uh, uh, that's more the fault of your attitude, Usaida-san. Um, but the see you later and the going to homeroom, that stuff was there. It was just that part was completely skipped. Um, let's see. Um, I'm not wearing the wrong uniform, am I? Was Skip. And, or is it a problem with me? Like, um, stink of the, uh, countryside or something. Like, I don't understand why you're anime. Come on, you're better than this. And I don't think it's, I'm not blaming, blaming the animator's fault because you know the scene is here and everything i'm blaming the writing the writing is is lacking right now oh the kids are following him it's so cute that's why everyone's staring at him because all the kids from the daycare are following them but there's one teeny teeny problem here so karen if you look at the four minute 11 second mark 
Kieran is um, holding her giraffe. No, 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 no. That's not what's supposed to be here. Kieran is actually supposed to be holding Midori. So I don't understand why the anime chose not to do that. I, I'm kind of mad that they didn't because it, Kieran looks so cute holding Midori. And this is on page um, uh, 10 of chapter 2, for those that are curious. And this part was skipped from the commentary from uh, Ryuchi, and this is on page, ele page 11. You can't just follow me out of the daycare room. You even brought Midori-chan. Yeah, and I understand why that part was there, because they didn't bring Midori-chan. Ugh. Th see, this is why Midori was supposed to be here. Um, I wish they would have had the full thing, because they cut um, Kamatani's lines a little bit, because it was supposed to be Taka. If you don't shut up right now, I'll send you flying. The I'll send you flying was skipped, and I'm kind of annoyed that it was, because it that's just part of Kamatani's dialogue. He constantly says that. But I love, I love Taka and Kamatani. They are adorable. <laughs> Taka, like <laughs> called his brother a poo head and just ran away. <laughs> but um, this uh, part of uh, Ryuchi's dialogue was cut off, which was, uh, it was supposed to be Taka kind of, it's dangerous to run around. Um, yeah, it's dangerous to run around was cut off. Oh my god, Inamata is so perfect. Holy shit. She, the animation for her is fantastic, and her voice actress is perfect for her. I can't wait to see when Inamata becomes more expressive. I can't wait to see how um, the voice actress does that, and I can't wait to see the animation for it either. Okay, there's one th problem I have here, is that when... Um, the people are talking about uh, Inamata. There's supposed to be like a dark, there's a somewhat dark expression on her face in the anime, but like there was like more shading and um, uh, like it could have just been done a little bit better. Oh my god, I love that we got to see Kabatani punch um, uh, Usaida san. I got a feeling that, and I'm very curious what you guys think because we saw it last week as well, is when um, Kamatani was going to punch Taka, or when he punched Taka in the head, they censored it. I got a feeling that's going to be the case for um, a lot of this series when it comes to some of the violence that happens. So I'm very curious what you guys think. All the rest of the comedy was skipped from this part here. after Because um, after Hayato punches... Um, Isaida, this is what it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be, Hayato, um, what are you doing to your elder out of the blue? Violence is a no-no, huh? What are you, uh, huh? Why are you guys crying? I, I hit people I want to hit. Kamatani, this, that policy sets a bad example for the children. Like, why was that not there? Uh, I have to, and I have to blame the writing on this. The writing is just, is lacking right now. Um, I don't, and not only that, is I wonder if it's a studio decision to do this as well. I gotta say, Usaido, oh my god, he is a better in anime form than I thought he was going to be. He is so perfect. This voice actor is just freaking fantastic. And the animation for, for him is just really, really good, especially with his expressions. I love it. This part of the commentary was skipped from um, Usaido, which was, um, if Ryo-chan um, is alone again and Kotaro gets a fever, it'll be a problem, right? And then uh, the heat, like... They didn't do the blank expressions from the he when uh, he left. That kind of bothered me. I don't understand why the anime didn't do that, but they should have. Oh, the poor children. The poor kids are scared of Imamata. Oh my god, they are scared. Good job, Imamata. Now you've got Midori crying. Nice job. Get her, kids. Get her. Okay, I gotta mention this. Imamata's expression when she says, Who's the villain? The eyes are perfect, but I wish they would have. The anime would have done like a really cool background to for it. But other than that, I'm really happy with it. Dude, throwing that panda pillow at Ryuchi was totally uncalled for. <laughs> you know what? Uh, you gotta feel, you gotta feel her pain here. I know a lot of you nerdigans probably do because you you know people talking back about you and your, your the expectations that are set for you like. But it, it's, I've, I gotta compare it to, I know, I compare a lot of anime to March Comes In Like a Lion, but this is more of like a plot point. Um, because remember what Takagi said, that she was bullying um, other other girls in the class because of the high expectations for her? Well, this is what um, high expectations really does to you. It makes you freak the fuck out and breaks down, and ha cause a major breakdown, have a temper tantrum. That's what it, that's 
what that kind of pressure does to you. So yeah, you could totally tell if you watched Marsh comes in like a line yesterday, you know, Takagi is totally full of shit. Oh, the kids are comforting her. That's so, it's so adorable to see it. And I really love the music for that, for, um, this anime. The soundtrack has been really, really simple, but it's been beautiful at the same time. I'm like that too. Like I wouldn't, because they're saying they're trying to wake, um, you know, Mata saw up and she just wouldn't wake up. Yeah, that, I, I'm her in that regard. But I, I gotta say, the soundtrack here is just really good. I'm loving the guitar that we're getting here. And it's very, the music is very um, heartfelt. I really love it. It feels really, it's like a warm embrace. And that's what um, this, anim, or this series is. It's a very warm, um, nice uh, slice of life series. So now we're done. Um, so we finished adapting chapter two at about the 10 minute 57 second mark. And uh, for that end card, I fucking love that. <laughs> you know, Tara is holding like a stuffed pig that's really cute. Um, or a stuffed boar. Uh, but overall, chapter two's adaptation was really, really nice. The only thing I had a problem with was that um, there was some kind of comedic stuff skipped. And the fact that we didn't have Kieran holding Midori um, kind of bothered me as well. She was holding her giraffe instead. Um, but like the spirit of the series of um, what the manga is trying to do, it's trying to bring us is, is here. And I'm really happy with that. So without further ado, let's get to chapter three's adaptation. Oh my god, I love the part of the, the title, like the somewhat title card for chapter three, like going into chapter three. <laughs> it's with Ayato holding a taka up in this costume. It's so cute. Correction, we are not getting the adaptation of um, chapter three this week. I got a feeling we're going to get the adaptation for chapter three um, at four and five next week, which would make sense because it's its own little arc. So where we're um, adapting is um, we're adapting uh, chapter six. And of course, they're censoring Taka <laughs> getting hit by, by Hayato. What? You're not going to. Oh, my God. You're not going to mention what Hayato said, which was freaking hilarious. And this is on page um, six uh, after uh, um, Hayato says, come on, say sorry. Who was the one who um, only saw a real real one on TV recently and got scared? It's okay, right? You're not really angry at all. Are you, Katara? That part was there. But it's just like, well, why would you skip that part of the comedy? That's not fair. Um, here we go. Oh, oh, Hayato, that was so mean. That was mean. He didn't say, I don't particularly like or um, hate you. And I love that um, we have the commentary here. Doesn't like or um, hate me. Doesn't like me. Hates me. And poor Takas. Like, I love seeing Takas' thought process. And you feel so bad for him. Um, Hayato, do you not? It's, I don't think a preschooler is going to understand your logic. <laughs> Are you dumb? Oh my god, Hayato. So we're not going to see, like, the snot hanging off from, um, Usaida? Like, really? This is not fair, anime. Oh, I was looking- f I don't- I know it's weird. I was looking forward to that, but I really wanted to see it animated because it would have looked really cool. <laughs> Ataka's temper tantrum is just amazing. And he's just like, you had let me down. You're not my brother anymore, Aki. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I like that they had that here. We know Usaida is just trying to get over time. He, he wants to get the extra money. Uh, this part was completely skipped, which was um, after uh, Obasan, you know, responding to uh, or answering um, Ryu's question uh, about going to the zoo. Um, hmm, well, whatever. Uh, Obasan, I'll, um, I'll clean up. Um, it's fine. If you're finished eating, then hurry up and go study. You might be looking after the kids, but I won't have any mercy for you if uh, you use that as an excuse to fail. Y yes, ma'am. Oh my god. Look at those lunch... Look at... The Dude, Saikawa. Damn, I wish Saikawa was my butler. I would love for him to make me lunch. Look how big... Look how big that is. Can Obasan just be my guardian, please? I mean, she's giving Ryuchi money. Like, dude, I want that money. Please give me, can please Obasan be my guardian. It's like, how, it's like, how, dude, how do you think Ryuchi would carry all that food? <laughs> In all honesty, 
I really love this music. It is really cute and simple. I, I love it. I love the bells and everything. It's just adorable. Ryuji, that was so nice. That was so nice. Ryuji was going to give the money that Obasan gave him to Usaido. Uh, Usaido san, but Usaido is like, no, I don't understand. I wish he wouldn't have t turned it down, but Usaido has a better idea. He's like, I'm going to take pictures and charge the fathers for them. <laughs> Usaido, you are a little scammer. I love Hayato and Taka's relationship. It's just so fucking hilarious. It's like, it's hilarious and it's sad. And but at the same time, you just can't stop it. Lo loving them. They were so cute. Oh, there was a little bit of comedy skit here um, that uh, Hayato says, um, and this is on page 19, he says, Taka, don't go causing um, trouble for Ryuchi and Kotaru. If you're going to cause trouble, do it for Usaido. <laughs> Shut up. That part was there. But the, if you're going to tr cause trouble, do it for Usaido. Uh, and just, I, it's like, ah, shut up. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. And we skipped, like, we just went, we skipped, like, them, you know, seated in their car seats or whatever we just skip straight to the zoo and the elephant does not look like how it does in the manga it kind of looks a little janky but maybe that's just me i love it everyone but kotaro was scared of the damn tiger <laughs> oh poor kotaro was just so scared he's like frozen stiff like poor baby poor kotaro tiger cub so freaking cute let's go back to the others kotaro was skip but like the scene where you know they're seeing the other parents with their kids and it's and you know Kotaro I, I, Kotaro realizes it that you know his, he'll never see his parents again and same and you know Ryuchi is seeing them and it's just totally heartbreaking I'm glad everybody came today with Skip but God, I love Taka Taka is just hilarious because I was like you wish your brother were here and he's like no wait he's all angry he's all pissed off I love Taka. He's just so adorable. Saikaiwa, please cook for me. <laughs> I love like look at these boxes. They're so good. They look amazing. I want to eat some of that. So the mo not only the mother's harassing Usaida was Skip, but the mother's um, harassing Ryuchi was Skip, which was uh, this part right here on page um, thirty of uh, chapter six. Um, do you have a girl you like, Ryukun? How about my Midori? Um, uh, be your bride when she grows up. Ah, <laughs> uh, 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 no fair. I want Ryu. Uh, I want Ryu Ken as my son too. Kotaro Ken too, of course. You can be uh, Kieran's groom too. <laughs> it's all skipped. It's not fair. And then they're at the sheep, and um, it's it's, just, it's supposed to be fluffy, not shaggy, but whatever. Like Kotaro calls the sheep um in the manga fluffy uh bak bacha. <laughs> But in the anime, he's calling um, the sheep a shaggy old lady. But it, it, it's so true. Her hair is totally like a sheep's. <laughs> uh, this part was skipped. Uh, they're always like this. Taka, there's penguins over there. Pe uh, penguins. <laughs> Why does that skip? And now we've gotten to the... I love that the anime includes this. The real battle zone is the souvenir shop. You know, because kids want everything they can get from the souvenir shop. And it's expensive there. I mean, at the zoo souvenir shop. Um, Usaida-san was supposed to be asleep here, and he's not. Why isn't Usaida-san asleep? Oh, poor Taka. He's he's lost. Like I, I know some. At one point, when we were little, we probably were like this. <laughs> but poor Taka. Yep, we are censoring. But we are censoring. Um, baby punches. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, because we didn't get to see Hayato punch um, Taka. We just heard, it just went off screen and then, you know what I mean. Yeah, this kind of hit, this punching is is just in um, the Kamitani family. <laughs> uh, just watch, Taka's going to end up doing it when he gets older. Aww, Taka's like, Nichan, you idiot, I, I love you. Aww, it's so cute. Yay, Hayato doesn't hate Taka! Yay! This episode was really good. Um, I'm disappointed that they skipped some of the co um, some of the comedy in here, but it's they didn't skip too much of the comedy to where it felt like the anime was taking itself trying to take itself too seriously. Um, I really I really am enjoying this series so far, guys. 
I think this is going to be between this one and um, Hakobe uh, Chimikochi. I think those two are going to be the um, the hidden gems of this anime season. But anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy and Zinc. If you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to my channel expansion, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, or purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Facebook. Um, Twitch and from me on PlayStation Network all that's in the description box below as well and until next time Nerdigans I'll be seeing you later